Oh, hello there. It's me, Anjali. And <laughs> Charlie Dog. Welcome to far too early in the morning. Yes, this is what we like to call stupid o'clock in this house. I'm amazed that Charlie's even getting up right now because it's just too early. <laughs> but let's start the day with the cuteness. Look at get your foot. Get your foot. Get your foot going. Oh, 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 oh. Go, 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 go. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be kind of an awesome day. I'm not going to lie. It's just stupid o'clock right now. So, uh, let's start the day. Hey, hey. So I know a lot of the EXU cast likes to go to that uh, that tiny little mom and pop coffee shop uh, Starbucks when they are doing these in the morning. But I like to start my day with something a little, little something extra in my coffee. So um, uh, I'm gonna make some coffee at home. I have these uh, four sigmatic coffee mixes that have mushrooms in them. Not that kind of mushrooms. That would be a a whole different kind of live stream, um, but a really fun one, nonetheless. Uh, so, you know, I have options here. I have um, Defend, which seems very Fiorari uh, uh, appropriate, right? Um, and that one has Cordyceps and Chaga in it to defend my immune system. And then I uh, also have this one with Lion's Mane, which is uh, Think. Uh, so when I drink this one, I like to sit in the corner and think about what I've done. Uh, no, that's okay. But my favorite part of having coffee in the morning, other than the delicious coffee, is um, choosing the mug to use because uh, I have a mug collection that I have built up over the years of travel from um, a variety of uh, branches of that mom and pop coffee shop, Starbucks. Just can't get away from it, can we? Uh, so I, I love these global icon mugs, and I think. We are now up to like 48 of them, I think, from various cities and countries. So I was going to choose Barcelona because that's where we just came back from. But I think for obvious reasons, we're going to go rogue this morning and pull out the big guns. Don't forget to love each other. Also, this holds way more coffee and I'm going to need it today. <laughs> And now we are going to put uh, something very important out of the fridge. <laughs> little puffy things for your little puffy eyes when you haven't gotten an extra sleep. See, your eyes don't look like this. They look like this. Um, about to happen and put these little doohickeroonies on my face. Because did I mention this fucking early? Am I allowed to curse on this? Oh, well, I guess I just did. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be so much better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Delicious. Delicious goop on one's face first thing in the morning. I mean, everybody leaves a little bit of gooey stuff on their face first thing in the morning. I feel like I shouldn't have said that out loud. Um, can we delete that from the record? There we go. She is beauty. She is grace. She's got gooey stickers on her face. Shall we grab some coffee? Okay, I'm skipping these caption thingies because they're driving me nuts. Auntie is too old for this stuff, you know? But we've got the, uh, we got this little bit of glamour going. We've got some coffee going, so we're in good shape. Come, come into our home. Um, I'm excited to show you guys the studio later. Uh, I just can't right now because my taller, better half is still sleeping, sweet thing. I mean, the dog is not even having it right now. He's snuggling in. Um, so here we are, um, proof of trip. Sort of looks like the uh, LAX baggage area combined with an Amazon fulfillment center. Um, this is our living room. That's where I throw Exandria Unlimited onto the screen over there and watch it when I can. So um, since we can't go into the fun rooms right now, and I'm not getting on that thing until a little bit later, because I need some of this, um, let's go outside. Let's go into the garden, shall we? Let's see some plantalonis. Plantalonis? That's not a real word. So this is our little outdoor space in progress. Um, but I'm not out here to show you my gardening skills. Oh no, I'm out here to show you proof that if you don't believe in the Spider Queen, the Betrayer Gods are real. Because look, here she is. Every freaking morning, no matter how much I keep track of my my little succulents and I clean them off. Look at this, look at this guy. This guy's got a whole spider web on him. 
I don't know, man. Lilith is around. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, it's time. It's time to ride the bike to nowhere because I ate my way through Spain on this uh, trip. Um, and I think today, in honor of our uh, adventures in Exandria Unlimited, uh, I am going to do the Haleakala climb. Uh, the Haleakala crater. Um, because it's really just another big ash hole. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to shut this down while all this is happening because this gets really, it's a thing. Y'all don't need to see that while that's happening. Save yourselves. I'll be back. Uh, I'll see you all later. And now it's cold shower time. Stop. Shower time. Bang. <laughs> What do we think, Charlie? We ready to get up and face the day? You ready? You ready for this? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, mama, we're going for a walk. Oh my goodness, oh, no, I'm so excited. Oh, okay, put it on, put it on. Oh, no, don't put it on, don't put it on. I gotta wipe my nose, no, uh, I'm gonna lick my paws. Um, hang on, oh my God, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go, here we go. I can't do this with one hand. Oh, wait. Oh, mm, 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 mm. oh, my gosh. You're so excited. You're so excited. Mama, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, you're so excited. But Oh, look at the fish. Look at the fish. Okay, Charlie, did you start the camera? Okay, come here, bud. Let's play some Charlie. Ready? And it's time for kickoff! Charlie with the move, Charlie with the move. Uh, Anjali's gonna come in as he gets the last bit of kibble, and oh no, he steals! Oh no! Oh, it's a move, it's a great move from Charlie. Oh, yes, yes, yes. She's coming in, she's coming in for the steal real quick. Oh no, but Charlie's got the kibble, Charlie's got the kibble. And here she goes again, she's coming in for the steal. Oh no, Charlie gets it! Oh no, go Charlie! Charlie for the win, Charlie for the win! Maybe I need to get out more. Maybe you're just cute. <laughs> Cause it's the morning, my favorite time of the day. And it's starting in the very best way. Just we're eating and then we're gonna play. Today could be my favorite day. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so the doggo has been fed. He has been walked. I have been coffeed. I have been biked. I've been washed. Um, I am going to head into my little sanctuary here, uh, my little office, to do some audition work, cram some lines, and uh, I will be back. But make sure, if you guys have questions and stuff that you want me to answer today or anything, um, you can hit me up in my personal DMs. They're open. Or hit me up in the crit roll DMs, I guess. That's okay, hopefully. Um, and uh, hopefully I can answer some of your stuff. Okay. I'm going to go pretend to be someone else for a little while. <laughs> I love my job. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Okie doke. Taking a break from some uh, very emotional uh, audition scenes to chat with you guys and show you around my office a little bit. So this is my... Um, this is my room. Um, as you can see, it's very colorful, which I dig. It is definitely the most colorful room in the house because I love color. Um, and there are lots of little stations in it. So I'm going to show you all the little stations now. Yeah. So in this sort of corner area, as you can see, I have a lot of little toys and things, little gifties from... Um, from Overwatch and from Apex. This is my, um, what I like to call my Erica Ishii Sumetra doll because I feel like she looks like she has a side shave, like Erica. Um, and then in here, this is my dresser full of uh, fan art, which I keep pretty much everything that's ever been handed to me. And I actually legitimately just bought another one of these guys um, to put more in because I just can't bear to say goodbye to any of that stuff. Okay, for some reason the captions keep failing me, so let's hope that they do this again. So we have some more art here that's made it up on the wall. Um, some really cool stuff. Melissa Robb made this of 
Charlie Dog and Symmetra. And we've got this beautiful piece by Von Holda of Rampart and Kelton FX did this watercolor. Um, I am ashamed to say I don't remember which artist did this and I can't read the signature, but this is Symmetra as a quokka, which I think is hilarious. And then there's my beautiful mother when she was younger and there she is again. And my dad and my sweet dad, he passed away in 2017, but he is with us every day. And this is a piece by Kate May of uh, the Overwatch Babies, which is, I think, hilarious. Um, and then, what more do we have? Let's see, um, so more on this wall, I have the goddess Lakshmi, who is the Hindu goddess of prosperity. She lives in my feng shui prosperity corner, and she also graces this uh, contraption that I use to tape auditions, so hopefully she gives me some good luck in my auditions. Um, and all my books, because I love, love, love my books, and look, there's me. Um, uh, I discovered that if you take the K off of 100K and put it in the front, it spells coo. So I have a coo couch. Um, I'm a little obsessed with post-it walls for planning, as you can tell. So I am, that is a planning board for a project that I am working on as we speak. Um, oh, and then there's the fun closet. So I don't know if I should really call this the fun closet because it's actually the just highly disorganized closet. But um, these are my pops, um, which I mostly just have uh, Overwatch pops for my compatriots in the game, which is super fun to have them having signed it. And then... Um, prints and fun things and more gifties all the little tiny gifties that people have made me look someone made me oops there goes a symmetric turret someone made me a little 3d charlie which i think is really really cute um and i love that so much and then we have dice okay so this might be very tricky to balance but we're going to give it a try um first i have this Beautiful dice box, die box, dice box, um, from when we did We're Alive Frontier. I believe Dogmite gave this to us. And also this really cool dice box that they made specifically for my character in We're Alive Frontier, Stingray, um, who had a lock that was very, like a padlock that was very specific to her story. And, um, and then also, if you look, that's like in the shape of a Stingray, which is super cool. And then this is full of dice. Um, now here's the problem. Um, I am old and forget things and I don't remember exactly where I got all of these. Um, so I feel like a really bad person, but, um, hopefully you won't judge me too much, uh, as I share these dice with you. Okay, so at least this first set of dice, these percentile dice, I know exactly where I got them. I got them from my friend Melanie Stone, who picked them up for all of us cast members of We're Alive Frontier. Um, and I think we picked this color because it kind of matched my skin tone, but it didn't show up very well on screen, unfortunately. But these are so heavy that I can, like, fling them at zombies to kill them. So, uh, in that sense, it was a, a very, very useful set of dice, um, at least uh, in the world of that show. Um, then we also got these beautiful, incredibly heavy weapon dice, uh, during the show as well. I haven't really used them because they are so, like, they're so sharp, they're so dangerous, I kind of get a little scared of them, I get a little scared. Um, and Melanie also got me these glow-in-the-dark percentile dice that we used, um, during, during that, um, which is really cool. And then, okay, I'm turning away from the closet so you don't have all that post-it stuff behind me. Um, and then I have a bunch of these beautiful, like, um, I have these cotton candy dice and these kind of grapefruity dice that I got from some beautifully lovely dice maker when I was at Indie Pop Con. I can't remember. I like swirly dice. I like swirly colors and stuff like that. I love these. These are a little, woo. Um, love those so much. I know it's really technical terms, right? I'm, I'm so good at this. Um, but I like to switch it off a lot because uh, I haven't necessarily really um, found a single set of dice that I'm super in love with. Um, I believe these guys were the first set of dice I bought as an adult. I got them um, at Thanex Salt Lake, I think, when I was out there a few years ago. And then I have these lovely... Um, uh, Oops, got cut off. Um, these lovely dice that were a gift courtesy of uh, our friends at Critical Role. So these two sets, um, both of which I used as uh, Fiererai, um, 
at various moments. But I also used uh, all of these other dice as well. So that concludes the um, Amnesiac Dice Tour of Anjali's dice collection. Um, there are so many, I feel like I could be in this room with you guys all day and be telling you about things. And I don't know if it would just bore you to tears. Um, or if you'd be into it, cause I got gadgets in here. I got all sorts of stuff. Um, but let me, uh, let me take a break and, and, uh, and think about what might be more fun for you. Let me, let me, let me think about it. Oh, this is really fun. Okay. So, so we did the dice tour as someone requested, and then someone else had asked in the messages, um, how did I get started playing D and D? And it is fortuitous that today happens to be July twenty second, which is my elder brother Anish's birthday. Because Anish is the whole reason I ever started playing D and D. When I was eight years old, he got me a basic D and D set, and I basically wanted to be my brother because he's magnificent. I wanted to be him. I wanted to do anything that he did. So he got me the D and D set. I fell in love with it. I devoured the advanced book, and then I just started playing. Um, pretty much all the way through high school. It was me and um, and I remember my, my buddies was Sila Ponratana, Jason Hamm, Sean McNatt, um, Stephen Wu, I think it was all of us, and then, you know, me, the chick. Uh, and then uh, I pretty much stopped playing tabletop when I went away to college, but I kept uh, kept playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons RPGs on my uh, PC at the time. And then uh, I think it was probably 2001 or two when I kind of stopped playing things on the PC. But mostly, yeah, I remember that was my, it was my first Broadway show and I was like, you need to spend your time doing some, some more things. But I'm so sad that I ever let go of that because I, lo- you know, I lost the whole community and I missed the community and now I'm so grateful that thanks to Marisha bringing me in uh, back over at Geek and Sundry to Wear a Live Frontier and can then connecting with Critical Role through her and Matt and everything. I'm just so grateful to be back in this world. Marisha is like my patron saint of, of role playing because she, she brought back the magic into my life of this. I cannot tell you how much I love role playing games. Um, I can't ever see myself not doing it. I keep talking too much and it keeps cutting me off. Um, yeah, I can't ever see myself not playing role-playing games again ever in my life because it's such a special thing. And whether you're an actor or not, the 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 chance to do this kind of long-form improv with friends who take it as seriously and as much fun as you do. I'm, I'm very serious about my fun. I like to commit to my fun. And, um, and as you see with the, with the folks, uh, in Alexandria Unlimited and over at Critical Role, that's what you get. You get people who are really committed to telling the story and having a great time. Um, I love watching Amy fall in love with the whole experience too, because I know it's her first time playing and, and it's just, um, it's just wildly rewarding to, to play, um, especially when you are the person helping to tell the story and you're doing it together and you're getting to appreciate the genius of the other people around you while, while you're in it. Um, it's just, it's, it's really, it's a whole different thing than, than obviously than the, the joy of what you get doing TV or stage or voice acting. There's just something, there's something transcendent about, about role-playing games and I will never stop playing again. The end. Okay, I have to take another break from this to go do my job, but I will come back um, and I will show you guys some fun stuff um, from España. Cuando he visitado a España. Uh, I'm very excited to share a couple of videos with you from there with some critters in them. Oh, that was really scary. I don't know why I did that to you guys. I'm sorry. That was way too close up. What's up, my Critical Role family? So I am here in España. Estoy visitando a España. And I just met this lovely young lady who happens to be a viewer, a fan, a critter. And if you have a message for Mr. Mercer and Ms. Marisha Ray and the whole gang, please well, tell me. Well, I am super excited for Alexandria Unlimited. I, I can't wait to see tonight the new episode. And I hope everyone is having a blast with it. Look at that, how cool! I'll see you guys later. Bye. Amigos, critters. Mira lo que tienen aquí. The legend of Vox Machina. Orígenes en español. Qué fuerte, ¿no? 
pero es la única copia, entonces no, no voy a uh, comprarlo porque es muy, muy caro. Pero uh, mi amiga, puedo, puedo sí, ver, mi amiga aquí, Ay. ella es una fan también y uh, a ella le dice, ¿qué dices a, la, a las personas de Critical Role? Lo mejor que hay. Ah, Critical Role es lo mejor que hay. ¿Ah? Lo he dicho. <risa> From the people that brought you the deck of many things, I bring you the counter of many products. Yes, too many products here, and here, and here, and in a box downstairs in the living room. I've got a bit of a problem. Um, a lot of it's just free samples, what can I say? But um, some folks have been asking me, even though it's not very uh, uh, Exandria Unlimited specific, how I do my hair. Um, and what I do is I use um, hot rollers. I use super jankity hot rollers. Um, so I'm gonna put in some hot rollers right now and you will see how I uh, drive around town when I am uh, preparing to do something fun because, you know, this hair don't curl itself, kids. And there it is. Ta it's very fashion forward. Um, yeah. And ta-da, now we have curled audition hair and an audition outfit. Now I'm gonna go do some auditions and I will come back and visit with you all some more. Tee hee. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just another day. Oh, somebody wants a belly rub. Can I pet that doll? Can I pet that doll? Can I pet that doll? So, I uh, was just going for a walk in the hood and um, walking by one of our fine establishments, the Seventh Vale Strip Club. And uh, look who is up above me. Oh, oh, look. Is that, is that right there, the cast of Exandria Unlimited? Is that who that is? Huh. I guess that means that maybe we need to come up with some stripper names for our people. I think that's true. I mean, after all, we are checking out an ash hole, right? Oh, my loves, I am so bummed. Uh, we are ending our time together here uh, very soon. I had so much more fun stuff to show you and so many questions to answer. But I tell you what, I am going to um, schedule a time to do an Instagram Live and I will tag Critical Role. And so if you guys follow me on my channel sweet Ange with three e's because apparently i don't care about spelling then you'll know when the ig live is and i'll be able to answer all your questions and i'll be able to show you the studio and i can sing you more charlie songs because there's a really really good charlie song that we missed um that y'all need to know called charlie is the best dog it's very very important but most important is that you guys remember to tune in to tonight's episode of Exandria Unlimited at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, either on the YouTube or on the Twitch, because um, we have some more, ex more exciting stuff that's going to happen on tonight's episode. So many exciting things. Okay, real quick, we're going to do the Charlie song. Are you ready? It's gonna we're going to close it out. -dum -dum -dum. Charlie is the best dog, the best dog in the world. He makes everyone happy. With his tiny paws, good um bum bum. Charlie is the best dog, the best dog in the world. We all love him the mostest, the mostest of all. We all love him the mostest, the mostest of all, because he's the best. Bye!